What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got this beautiful vermilion snapper, also known as a bee liner, down here in Florida. I'm going to show you guys how to flay it up using our 8 inch Max Flex knife. I really love this knife because as the name suggests, it's got a lot of flexibility to it, perfect to contour to the body of pretty much any fish. Um, vermilion snapper don't have too big of scales, so pretty easy to get through the outside exterior, but a little tip is to always go into the scales rather than straight down. It makes it a lot easier to get that initial outline. And now what I like to do is take the tip of my knife and we're just gonna glide from the head all the way to the tail, okay? I've just exposed the exterior of the fish to the inside. Now I'm gonna rest that knife on the fish's spine and just basically work my way up. And a key thing to this is, you guys take a look. There's nothing left on that spine because I really make sure my knife lays flat and I go from the top all the way to the backbone. Once I get to the backbone, you're gonna get stuck by a set of pin bones. All fish have what's known as pin bones and what you do is you tilt your knife slightly up right here on the rib cage and you bust through them. You're gonna hear it like you're going to the chiropractor, okay? Once that's done, go over the rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone, and you guys see how nice this knife flexes and just contours to exactly what I want it to do. You're not tearing the fish, it just makes it so nice. Once again, cutting into the scales, around the head, around the pec fin, working from the head, all the way down to the tail. You guys see what a nice sharp knife will do, even through a scaly fish. It'll go down effortlessly. Rest the knife on the spine and just free up that meat ever so gently until you get to the fish's backbone. Once we get to the backbone, once again, pin bones right there on top of the rib cage, break through them. Over the rib cage, down on the other side of the backbone and just let that glide, that knife flex how it wants to, to the contour of the fish. Another gorgeous side of vermilion snapper. Okay, so we got our vermilion snapper lined up with the edge of the flay table. I'm gonna skin it with the same knife. Perfect amount of flex to skin a fish. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time, pushing from the tail to the head. Now we're just gonna remove the pin bones right here, go on one side of them, go on the other, lift it up, cut it out, and there you have it. You got boneless, skinless, vermilion snapper. Absolutely delicious. And if you guys are interested in the knife I use today, great all around versatile knife. It's the Dextream 8 inch Max Flex. You guys can find it linked below or dextraoutdoors.com. And we'll catch you in the next one.